Welcome to Ridiculous. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. I hope you're living your best life. Part 7 The other men told his wife last night, and she kicked him out. He's mad that I'm back home. He is staying at a hotel, and he doesn't even have any of his belongings with him. At least I had time to pack a bag. He said he's going to go to the store just to get some essentials until he can possibly go back to his house to get things. But he doubts his wife will let him anywhere near their home anytime soon. She flipped out, threw a bunch of his stuff at him, told him she never wanted to see him again, etc. He says he's ruining his life to be with me and now I won't even come see him? I'm starting to feel even worse than I did before. He's been begging me to come see him today, but I'm trying to do the right thing by not making this any worse. I don't think it'll help for me to walk out of the house to go see him. I think we need some time apart just to let the dust settle. We have both expressed guilt. We've talked about how bad we feel about what we're doing. This was before the pregnancy. Ages ago, we admitted that we shouldn't be doing it. You know, having an affair. We even tried to stop seeing each other, but that didn't last long. Here's a little bit of backstory. The other man and I, we weren't lovers. We never were. We were always just friends back then. So maybe there was always some sort of mutual attraction, but we never even came close to acting on it. Being with him wasn't even on my radar back then. I've been with my husband since we were both 18, right towards the beginning of college. We didn't go to high school together or know each other prior to that. I met the other man when I was in college as well, and this was after I was in a relationship with my now husband. I met my husband first. He and I were dating when I met the other man. I met the other guy about a year later. I was in love with my husband. Our relationship was very new at the time, and although we were exclusively dating only each other, it wasn't super serious. I wasn't interested in being with anyone else though. I thought the other man was attractive and we had some shared interest and became friends. But I didn't consider cheating on my husband at that time. We were really only friends. Trust me, nothing ever happened between us. When the other man and his wife had their baby daughter, I sent him a gift that was a onesie with the logo of one of our favorite bands on it. When we were in college, he and I loved this particular band and even traveled together to other states to see them live a few times. Well, I just thought it was a silly cute gift. I was happy for him to have a baby and I just thought I was sending a gift from a friend and didn't think any more of it. My husband was upset about it and didn't want me to send the onesie. I sent it anyway. Somebody told me that by doing this, I was trying to mark my territory on his newborn child and that I was setting our affair in motion by doing this. What do you guys think? This was over three years ago. I still don't think that was wrong to do, but was it really wrong to send him that gift as just a friend? There was nothing going on between us at the time. So now you can understand why my husband told me he didn't like the idea of me sending the gift. At that time, I thought he was overreacting and I sent it anyway. So I told the other man that my husband was acting jealous and was mad that I was sending the gift, but that I had sent it anyway. My husband has mixed feelings, it appears. I had planned to call my mom and confess everything to her after I told both of the men involved. I just can't bring myself to do it though. I'm so ashamed to admit it to anyone. I know my mom will still love me no matter what and even though she doesn't like my husband, she will still be so disappointed in me. I want to tell her but I just feel sick when I actually think of trying to explain all of this. I asked my husband who has he told just so I can prepare myself. He says he doesn't want to tell anyone, but in his anger, he said he told a few people, but he wishes he hadn't right about now. My husband has never physically hurt me, but we do sometimes get in very heated arguments, a lot of yelling and a lot of very mean things being said. Surprisingly, there hasn't been any yelling in this situation yet. He has thrown things in anger before. I can admit that marriage counseling was not going to work while I was having any sort of relationship with the other man. I don't think the other man would do the same thing to me. Neither of us have cheated on anyone before. I know I can't begin to understand the pain that I'm causing my husband, but I know that I'm hurting him. I'm not oblivious. I can begin to imagine. 
I have put myself in his shoes throughout the entire affair, yet it wasn't enough to make me stop. I don't think I was using the other man as an emotional tampon for years. We just talked occasionally and were friendly. <sighs> I'm really sick today. It's not a good day for me right now. My husband ordered me breakfast from a restaurant for delivery. Why is he doing this? Then he got mad that I told him I was too sick to eat it right now. I can't stand him doing anything nice. I almost just wish he would be more mean to me. I feel like he's doing this just to make me feel even worse. I'm trying to work up to telling my mom. I know I should probably get out of this house. I'm getting ready to head to my mother's house. I told her that I need to stay with her for a few days and I have something I need to tell her in person and to not worry. There is nothing wrong with me such as a sickness or anything like that. I just need to talk to her in person. I may end up staying there long term, but but I didn't want to get into the whole conversation of why I might need to move back with my parents at this very moment. 